Hi, I'm Amy, and this is Bossify. This episode of Bossify is proudly brought to you by Janet Lawless Christ and Team Luxury Real Estate. Thanks for watching. This is another episode of Bossify, and I am joined by the incredible Amy today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Amy is the COO of the Alpha Project, a nonprofit that serves thousands of men, women, and children every day in San Diego. Amy is in charge of implementing the project's mission to end homelessness by empowering individuals to live their best lives. She's also a leading advocate for the San Diego LGBT community. All right, Amy, so the first question I ask everybody, how do you personally define success? Good question. Thank you. I would define, <laughs> I would define success as, you know, setting a goal, mm -hmm. reaching it, and the more challenging that goal, the better, and the more satisfying when you get there. So that's what, how I would define success. Love that. Do you always feel that when you actually reach that challenging goal, it is as satisfying as you hoped? Or sometimes is it like, oh, I was hoping this was going to be so much better than this is? Depending on how many people come along with me to reach that goal, which I love that as well, um, I think that makes it even better. It's like, let's have a group of us reach a goal commonly and work together as a team to get there. Those are the, the best parts I like about succeeding in things, not just being about yourself, but being about bringing people together with you to, to be there. So that makes me happy. I love that, and that's yeah. why we wanted to have you on. It's part of our mission as well, to create and collaborate. Yep. And it, that makes it even more fun. Yep. So that definition, has, how has that changed over time? That's our, always our second question. How has that changed uh, this definition of success? Well, I mean, I think especially for women, mm -hmm. it's changed a lot. And I think at this point in life, we've come a long way. We're just going to get more and more and more. I'm very much about empowering women and watching people be successful that are women. And there's so many strong women just here in San Diego that I've had the pleasure to be friends with and meet with and get to know. And it's just been an amazing experience. So it sounds like to me that the more you're able to collaborate and to meet with other women, uh, mm -hmm. whether or not they're in your field or something else, mm -hmm that makes you then just continue to feel more empowered and more successful? Absolutely. Yep. We love our women power. Bring yeah, it on. Bring Let's it just on. do it as a big right? team. I love I like it. it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Recruit them all. <laughs> okay. I love this. So it sounds like though also maybe when you were younger, did you feel that that was always the case? Was that always your definition of success? Let's put it this way. I had an amazing, I have an amazing mother. Yeah. And she is my role model. She is my best friend. I grew up where you had stay at home moms. I'm from a small town in Vermont. She didn't care about any of that. She taught me to be independent. She taught me to speak my mind. She taught me to have goals that I want to reach and be there. Um, she got her master's degree while she was raising us. Oh, She's wow. an amazing, amazing person. If I can, I just strive to be like her. What's her name? Laura. Hi, Laura. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Thank you for raising me. She gave me all my good qualities. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Laura. We <laughs> like it. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Yep. Yeah. The power of being just that fantastic mother. Yep. It can't be yep. replaced. I'm lucky. I'm lucky, lucky. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I understand. So that brings us to our third question. Mm -hmm. How has this definition of success now shaped your personal sense of self? Well, I have to say, like, I grew up as an athlete, mm -hmm. so I kind of took all that leadership quality and working as a team and being strategic and, you know, everybody's together, and that's just how you accomplish goals. And to me, that you bring into the professional world. And mm -hmm. so you strive and strive and strive to get to a certain space. And then I just take all that energy that I learned from all my years of playing sports to applying it to real life. So in my job, I'm striving, leadership, let's get here, let's get there. And so that really built up. I would encourage anybody to play sports because I think that was the best lesson I learned growing up to be professional. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I also love the fact that it, you're very inclusive. And I think that also speaks to them, the Alpha Project, mm -hmm. and why you want to make sure that no one is left out. Yep. Can you speak to that a little bit more? Well, I mean, we serve some of the hardest to serve. And we really believe in second chances and that nobody woke up one day going, I want to be in this horrible situation, mm -hmm. um, not an enabling approach, but an empowering approach. And so that's sort of our mission. Is, Let's go back to that. Yeah. I love that one more yeah. time. Not the enabling. Say that again one more time. It's so good. We absolutely do not enable. We empower people. You know, we look at your skills, we look at your level of support you need, and we don't push it too far. You know, you can't work harder than someone else. 
So that's what we always say. And that's how we always teach the new people coming in and things like that is that cannot work harder than someone else. That, that shows what, you know, motivation they have to change. So that's sort of our approach. And that you've seen in an amazing way, mm -hmm. the success rates speak to that as well. It's incredible uh, what you're doing, Amy. Yeah, I mean, I'm lucky enough to have the position I have so I get to help people yeah. at a, you know, personal level, but then at a bigger picture level, systemic levels, looking at systems change, things like that. So, you know, we see people all the time. I just went to one of our graduations, a part of our treatment facility last week. They had Alpha Idol, it's our talent show. It was really Alpha cool. Idol. Yeah, and Alpha you know, these, guys, these guys are like, <laughs> been in jail for 20 years. I mean, yeah. they're hardcore. Um, and just to see them out and like happy and sober and their families get to come and watch them. They get to interact with their families, see their kids, see their mom, see their wife, things like that. So it's just, I mean, it's an amazing experience. You can't beat it. And that is success, right? Yes, absolutely. That has to feel so empowering yeah. for you to then empower yeah. others. Yep. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is amazing, which is our, now our fourth question. Uh, what is the greatest challenge that you've faced that you then turned into a blessing? Because I find that that is true of every successful woman that we speak with. Okay. I'm from Vermont. Mm -hmm. I was, didn't, never been to San Diego before. I finished college and I came out here without even being here. That was a huge challenge. It was a lot. Okay. We have an interstate yeah. that goes one way. Okay. We look it out to San Diego and I was like super confused. I couldn't pronounce any of the signs. Well, there's and the I'm like, what in the, the heck? VAs and the what? Yeah. And the the like, yeah. La Jala and El Cajon. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so I mean, the judge free zone, you know, Amy, and, the judge free zone I know. Here. I got you. I got so you. Good. I came to the right place. Yeah. Um, and just not knowing anybody out here and I hadn't started my career necessarily or anything like that. So, I mean, that was a huge challenge. Um, the person I came out here with ended up going back to Vermont and I was like, you know what? No. I, I love it out yeah. here. I am going to succeed out here. And, you know, I feel like I have. So that was a huge, I never thought I'd leave Vermont ever. Never. Well, I never really did. Right? Well, and Vermont, <laughs> Vermont, yeah, but Vermont and San Diego, I mean, it's the, oh my God, the juxtaposition of the two. I know. I know. Diversity out here is amazing. I really embraced it. I really yeah. love that. Um, so it just the differences between and Vermont's amazing too. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It sounds like it's a challenge. choice though. Mm -hmm. You have to say, during that time, there had to have been a point when you were in that challenging moment going, I don't know anybody. I don't know how to pronounce El Cajon. <laughs> exactly. I, what am I doing? Yeah. And you're questioning all that and you're mm -hmm. in that, that icky spot yep. that we all go through. Yep. Where in that icky spot did you say, you know what, this is a blessing and here's, you've got to, you know, you, was there like a, a moment, a pivotal moment in which you, which you flipped that? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the first job I got, my, my boss was a very empowered woman. Yeah. And so I got to have that experience like right off the bat. I've only had three jobs since I've been here and I've been here 20 years. But just having those strong role models around me, I think really encouraged me to just keep going and going and going and staying. You know, my first job was $8 an hour. I bought a scooter for like $400. I was driving up and down from the gas lamp to Hillcrest. Yeah. In the rain. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, all right. And then just kind of go from there. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Yeah. I was 17.5. Idaho <laughs> Falls, baby. First job. Totally get it. Yeah. 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 And you think you're balling at that point. I know. Point. I, was like, like, yeah, oh, I, got I got this. I have an income. Yeah, That's exactly. Good. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So last question. What would you, the advice you'd want to give your 17 year old self? My 17 year old self, I would say, continue to strive for what you're striving for anyway. Mm -hmm. Continue to think about where you want to be in your life. Apply all the talents that you have now to what you want to be. And it's all going to work out. It's all about how hard you work. And that's all it is. And you just never give up, never give up, never give up. And then have that goal in mind and continue to. And I think that's, that's the best thing I could say to myself. Everybody says that. Yeah. Every woman, they all say, just be you yeah. and don't give up. Be yourself up. for sure. Be, it's so uh, hard people though. People respect that. that a lot more when you're yourself and it doesn't matter in what context you're there. I'm just me. And I think people respect that. They do. Yeah. No matter what. That mm -hmm. is success yeah. as well. It is. Okay. Last thing. Yeah. You're so good. <laughs> this is so fun. Uh, what's the one thing that we don't know about you that we should know? Okay. I can sing and play guitar. Oh. And I love to cook. What would, what dish would you make me? I would make you spaghetti sauce. It's very, very good. Oh. I can make you shepherd's pie. I can make you meatloaf. Hold on. My grandma makes <clears throat> a mean spaghetti sauce. You're telling me you're better than Bootsy? Bootsy, this is pretty You'll see. legit. I'll have you over. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. Should mm -hmm. we serenade <laughs> out? What's your favorite song? Oh, my goodness. My can you give me, like, a little, give me a little tune? Um, my favorite song is... This is Alpha Idol. Not to put you on the spot. Um, okay, let me see. Let me see. Give me, like, a little something. Um, I'm just going to sit back and let you serenade me. <laughs> you got this. Uh, let's see. I, lo I love this one. Okay. okay. Club can't even handle me right now. Oh, <laughs> go. Do Club it. Rider. Do it. 
Do it. You know I know how. Make you stop and stare as I soul now. Club can't even handle me right now. There you go. Oh, that was good. <laughs> good. All right. right? <laughs> the crew says yes. And on that note, <laughs> Oh my gosh, Amy, a pleasure. Thank you so much. This uh, is another welcome. episode of me. Bossify. Thank you. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to join the movement. Join the discussion on our Facebook page and see more episodes on our website at abbygibb.tv. Be bold, brilliant, brave. You are Bossify. This episode of Bossify was proudly sponsored by Janet Lawless Christ and Team Luxury Real Estate.